Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on board bank management system. In the previous episode, we have successfully added the functionality to search the users. And in this episode, we will design form for our donors module. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. Let's open our project, which is blood bank management system I have in my desktop and let's open our project file so i'll just double click on this project file which is blood bank management system dot solution our project will open on visual studio ide so this is the form for our users module now we need to create similar form for our donors module as well so i'll go to the solution explorer and let's go to our ui folder and in ui folder just right click on it and click on add and click on new item and here you need to select visual c sub items and select the windows form and here we will the, give the name which will be frm donors that's it and just click on add or press enter to save so i'll just click on add button so this is our donors form let's expand it let's expand it and we need to change some properties like we do not have default border and default menu like maximize minimize close etc we will create a custom buttons so we'll remove these items and we also need to have a darker background like this one so let's make those changes so just select the form and go to properties and here in text i will change it to donors and that's it and also in property let's search for form border style property so what it is here it is so in form border style properties change its property from sizable to none so it will remove the default borders and menus and after that we also need to give it a background color so let's check, check out its background color so i just go to the form users and i'll just go to properties and look at its back color its back color is scroll bar so let's go to form donors and select the form go to properties search for back color and search for scroll bar so where it is here it is so it gives a darker background color now we need to make similar size as of this user form i'll just select the form and go to property and here i'll check out its size let's search for its size its size is 1100 by 500 so we'll give the similar size to this form as well so select the form go to properties and search for size so it will be 1100 width and height will be 500 so it will be exact size of our form users now we need the top bar as similar to this so i'll just drag the cursor and select all this top panel which is this label and close icon so I just, i'll just drag and select all of this and press ctrl and c to copy and i'll just go to form donors and paste it in this form i'll just press ctrl and b to paste so it has successfully copied the top panel from users form to our donors form so we need to change its text so i'll just select the label and go to properties and its text will be manage donors and let's change its name as well its name is okay so i won't change it and everything looks fine let's add other things like input form data grid view and buttons it will be uh, everything will be similar to our form users so i'll just drag the cursor and select all of these things inside the form so i'll just drag and select all these things and press ctrl and c to copy and go to form donors and paste it here so now we need to move a little bit down i think this is okay so let's leave it and everything looks fine that's it now let's change its properties so 
we need to change the property of profile picture just select the profile uh, picture box and go to properties and it will be it's okay let's name it picture profile picture it's okay we don't need change and they select the select image button and go to properties its name is btn select image that's okay and let's select the user id this is not user id anymore it, it will be a donor id so just select the label and go to properties it will be donor id let's change its text as well so it will be our donor id and let's select the text box and change its property as well select the text box go to properties and its name will be donor id txt donor id and let's check the database column so i'll go to server explorer and expand our database which is blood bank management system tables and for now we will go to tbl donors we have first name and last name are separate things so i'll go with first name first one is first name so this will be first name properties and change this text to first name and uh, it will be first name let's send the property of text box select the text box go to property and it will be first name and under one will be last name so i'll just select the email and do we have email or not we have email so i won't change this email instead i will change the username so i'll just select the username and go to property and it will be last name and its name will be last name and its text property will be txt and last name and let's swap the position of these two so i'll just select this and for a minute i will where should i put them i will put it here and i will take these two down and then i'll select these two and put it here you can do any way you want so first name last name email and what do we have first name last name email and then contact and gender contact gender address and blood group so what do we have we have contact address now we don't need password instead of password we will add gender and blood group so i think we need to minimize the gap to add two fields so i'll just move these two sorry i created a form load event just don't worry about this this just control and save if if you haven't created a form load event or if you if you do not accidentally click double click on form it's okay and if you have clicked and it's okay as well no worries so i just need to select these two and move up a little bit similarly to the email and here we need to add two fields which is gender and blood group so i'll go to toolbox and source for a label i'll drag and drop label here so this one will be so select the label go to properties and this one will be gender and similarly let's change the name as well lbl gender and then we need to add a drop down box which is a combo box so just go toolbox and search for combo box i'll just drag and drop this combo box here and let's make it little big and let's change its property so just select the combo box go to properties and it will be cmb gender and let's change its font property so i'll just go to font and click on three dot icon and here its font name will be say go ui regular and size will be 10 that's it and i'll just select 
this label and text box and copy by pressing ctrl and c and paste it here again ctrl and v and let's move it here it's okay i just move i just need to move this contact a little bit down okay and it will be blot group so just select the label and go to properties and its text will be blot group and its name will be lbl blot group and then let's change the property of the combo box as well so i'll just select the combo box go to properties and it will be cmb blot group and it's that's it now we also need to add the option in this combo boxes so just select the combo box for gender and click on this small triangle icon i'll just click on this and let's edit items and here we will add the options in uh, add one option per line so it will be first one will be male and second one will be female and the other and the last one will be other so we have three options for our gender so i'll just click on ok and let's select for blood group as well and click on this triangle small triangle icon and let's add blood groups here so let's add the options for our blood group as well so first one o positive second one o negative a plus a minus b plus b minus and then a b plus and then a b minus so that's it we have eight blood groups and i'll click on ok and let's check out for contact select the contact go to properties lbl contact this will be uh, txt contact and this will be txt address and we need to change uh, the name of the data grid view so just select the data grid view and go to properties and it will be not users but dgb donors that's it now let's add the functionality to close uh, this form whenever we click on this close icon so i'll stop click on this close picture box and it will create uh, it will create a picture box close click event and here we will close this form and for this we need to write a code which is this dot hide that's it this will close our form whenever we click on that close icon so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s we have successfully designed the manage donors form but we haven't added or we haven't linked it with our admin dashboard so let's go to solution explorer and let's open our dashboard so which is form home so let's just open this form by double clicking on it and in this donors menu we need to link our form donors form which we have designed just now so i'll just double click on this menu uh, to create a menu click event so just double click on donors menu and it will create a donors menu click event so here open manage donors form so frm donors donors is equals to new frm donors and then we need to open that form so donors dot so that's it it will display our form whenever we click on that donors menu so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's check it out whether our functionality or our design or displays or not for that i'll just click on the start button and here is our application i'll just click on this donors menu and our form is displaying as expected and let's but it's not in the center screen so we will need to change the property of its start position so i'll just close click on this close icon and it closes the form successfully close it at as well and i'll just stop this application and now we need to change the start position of our form donors form so just select the form go to properties and let's change its start position from windows default location to center screen so it will always open our form in center of the screen so i'll just save it by pressing ctrl and s 
and let's start our application once again and let's click on donors so the form opens uh, in the center of the screen successfully as expected and let's click on close icon is it also closes the form and that's it guys we have successfully designed the donors form for our blood bank management system thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so once again thanks so much for watching see you soon bye bye